Walmart just released a rosé drink enhancer that will make your water taste like wine. Hey guys, welcome back to Shared News. I'm your host, Renee Ariel. And I'm Fiona Zaring, and we have to talk about what this rosé enhancer is from Walmart. Do you yeah. know what it is? Not really. I'm still <laughs> very confused by it because it doesn't fully make sense to me, but if you want to get into yeah. why this exists and what exactly it is. Yeah, I'll try to explain it. So basically, have you ever seen those like Neo water drops or something that you squirt in your water and then it flavors it like lemonade flavor or cherry flavor? Yeah. It's the exact same thing, but for rosé wine flavor. You just add a couple of drops to a glass of water and it transforms the taste completely. It was discovered by Candy Hunter on Instagram. It's one of those accounts that like pulls all of the new releases. Mm -hmm. So there's not a huge consensus yet on exactly how wine-like things will taste or if it just tastes sort of like grapey. It's a little bit confusing. Yeah. My biggest question is why? That's what I don't get because usually you drink rosé, you know, to feel a little, little something something <laughs> and because you enjoy it, but it's an alcoholic beverage. So I find it very weird that they want it to taste like wine without the benefit of maybe feeling some little bit of buzz. You know? Exactly, exactly. Because it's not alcoholic, just to clarify. There yeah. is no alcohol in this product. It is just a flavoring. It's sort of like non-alcoholic beer. Weird. It's weird, right? What, what I find weird though, at least non-alcoholic beer is beer, whereas yeah. this is like a weird flavoring that you add to water. It would be one thing if they're like, oh, if you want to, okay, well this sounds bad, but if you're like, ooh, I want to just add it to my shot of vodka, right. just to fully disguise the taste and taste like wine, great, go for it. But this is for your water, and I don't know about you, Fiona, but I don't mind my water tasting like water and not wine. No, I don't. I don't need wine at my desk all day long. <laughs> I could just drink regular old H2O. Basically, the idea behind this, I think, is if you're trying to maybe cut back on wine, perhaps it can fill the void. Or the other thing that I saw is there's actually sort of a trend of rosé flavored cocktails, sort of. Mm -hmm. pop, popping up all over online. Mm -hmm. So perhaps they thought this could sort of fill that need, like make the rose cocktail making experience a little easier. But on that same note, Svedka has already released a rose flavored vodka, and they're not the only people out there who have done that. So if you were trying to make a rose cocktail, you could just use this. Yeah, I really, I'm just wondering who's buying this. You know what I mean? Like, what friend of yours is going to be at work or maybe not at school? Wait, can you buy it if you're, yeah, you can. You can, there's no alcohol. You could literally have rosé flavored water sitting in a high school classroom. But that's like, weird. There's nothing that's wrong so with it. Weird. It's strange, right? I wonder if it's like, okay, so yeah, with like the champagne flavored gummy bears. Have right. you ever had those? Right. They kind of taste like champagne, but not yeah. really. Yeah. But that still makes more sense because it's a candy, just like the non-alcoholic beer. It's a beer. This is, it doesn't feel like it's in the right place. It doesn't make sense. And what are your thoughts on it in general? Because I don't get this at all. Like alcohol flavored alcohol. Like rose flavored vodka. You don't, why no. not one or the other, right? No, I don't like that even, at all. Even the candies. I'm like, eh, okay. Yeah. I guess. Like no one's just drinking rose for, fun. maybe they are <laughs> just drinking it. <laughs> for fun because they love the taste of rosé so much. It doesn't replace water. I don't. I just don't think that those two things should go together. I think it's weird. I don't like the idea of rosé flavored vodka. It no. just, from like a, what I think of is like adding rosé to vodka. To vodka, which sounds like a hangover. Literally miserable. The one thing I will say though, is this is sugar free. So like the worst part of a hangover comes from the sugar so maybe there's some sort of merit there. You're, what, you're talking about the vodka? No, the, the drops. They're so sugar-free. <laughs> so it won't give you a hangover, but it's also not alcoholic, so I don't know. I mean, rosé is one of the like most sugary wines, and I feel like it's really easy to drink, so people yeah. do get really bad hangovers from it. So maybe there's something to be said about this. I, I really don't know. I'm trying to look for any any sense in the situation. Yeah, me too. I, I really I want it to make sense, <laughs> but I just don't quite understand it. And when I was reading the story before we filmed, I was trying to think, of, I was like, there's no way that it is what I think it is. Cause that just right. doesn't, 
add up and I don't know like what market they're going for, for who's buying this and is it just for water or are you adding it? It's even like, I wouldn't even add this to a cocktail. I think it's a weird. The one thing I thought could actually be maybe yummy what? is you know, maybe, cause you know how like at holidays you'll bust out like a sparkling cider? Yeah. Maybe if you added like a couple drops of this to a sparkling cider, you would get sort of like a rose taste with the cider and combined with the bubbles, maybe it's something good. But then again, technically you're supposed to put this in water. So I'm just like totally ad libbing here. Yeah, like I guess if you, I mean the only thing I could think of is yeah, if you're like under the age of 21 and you're at a New Year's party and you're drinking like sparkling water right. and then you want to feel involved. Like, Ooh, do you want some, some rose drops, non-alcoholic, here you go. And then it kind of feels like you're drinking wine but you're not, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just, do you guys think yeah, that this is a cool know. invention? <laughs> Are you gonna be trying it? Are we just missing out on something? There's some huge obvious reason this product needs to exist that we're missing. Please let Please us know us. down in the comments. But before you go, make sure to like this video to support our channel. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And then click right over here for some more content. And as always, I'm your host Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel. And I'm Fiona Zaring. You can follow me on socials at Fiona Zaring. And we'll see you guys next time.